Hey, it's Joel. Today we're going to look at The Last of Us Part 1 on PC. I'm running the game at 1080p, but I have the recording at 900p. I'm going to make the screen small. Let's just jump right into it and I'll see you in a second. I don't know how it runs. Drivers are not the latest. There's an issue with NVIDIA Premiere Pro. Oh, man, I'm excited. Graphics, there we go. Okay, so we're cut set to custom. Uh, I want to max this out. This is, this is actually really impressive. I want to just put everything to max. It's pretty thorough. Like they have a lot of things in here that are good. We do have an option for ultra. Okay. Well, we're at 10 gigs. So this would definitely want like a 3080 or higher. It's such a beautiful game, even on PlayStation 4 and 3. Uh, I haven't tried the PS5 version because I don't have access to a PS5. Okay. It does take a bit of time to build shaders, which is fine. We've already done subtitles. Everything's good there. I like how they have a lot of options. I kind of just want to jump into it. Uh, we'll do light. Light's fine. All right. Shaders haven't been built yet. I'm not going to sit there and wait for shaders to build. Here it is. The Last of Us. It looks good, though, for what it is. I mean, you can really, like... This feels far better than the original PS3 version. Like, graphically, it just it looks far better. Oh, wow. What was that? Oh. Oh, we. Wow, okay. Uh, there's Joel. There you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Wow. Jimmy, stay back! Jimmy, I am warning you! Don't! You've got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Come on. It's interesting how the frame rate's fluctuating as well. Where the hell you been? You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. It also is building shaders, so again, I'll do an updated version when we have shaders built. Okay. Overall, I, I'm I'm impressed with this. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. It looks really good, though. It is a really nice-looking game for what it's worth. Like, that is some good fire effects. Wow, very impressive. Maybe they can help them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's a tense moment. Oh, jeez. Get us out of here. I'll try. All right. We can see how nice it looks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and lower our settings. We'll do high because high seems like it will run okay on this machine. Medium probably be better, but we'll just see how high performs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've improved our... Oh, Lord. Okay. It just crashed. That's... Uh... uh Okay, so that happened. Uh, I'm gonna put it back to Ultra that we had. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That, that was weird. Okay, well, cool. Daddy? Yeah, we have a lot of issues here, okay. but that's just shader issues, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and just reload. Uh, so that's what happens when you when you change your graphic settings. Yeah, there we are, we, we fixed the GPU settings. Oh, apparently we did not. I wouldn't call those artifacts. It's fascinating that it's doing that. All right, since we're still getting issues with uh, with the game, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to lower the settings now. Because this kind of ruins it for me. <laughs> I have an idea. We're going to go ahead and just move it over to a different drive. We're running from the SSD now. It should be a lot faster this time. Uh, I'm still getting this issue here, where it simply says that our drivers are out of date. Uh, so we might have to get the latest version, but again, we're just going to take a look. Performance running from the SSD. We haven't built the shaders yet, so that's going to be another thing to try. But let's go back to where we were. All right, we're in. And there's our performance. Game does seem to be working a lot better now. We're not getting those same visual issues that we were getting before, which is good. And the game looks noticeably better. Not like night and day difference really comparatively where we were uh obviously we still have to compile shader so we'll again we'll we'll get to that when we get to some uh quarantine zone gameplay wow that looks really good i'm i'm i don't want to mess things up but i'm kind of curious if we go to graphics and we just increase i just want to know if we 
I had that the environment's texture. Uh, sorry. There's one that was fire. Yeah. I just want to see how much of a chain hit we really take on that. Minimal. Minimal. This looks really good. This looks really good, folks. Um, yeah, the 5600 is holding up quite well. Probably run better on a 5800X 3D or something, but... Honestly, if you lock this to 40 FPS, you'd be pretty content with it. Or 30, you'd be pretty content. Uh, so yeah, performance is, is really, really nice. I'm not getting above 50, 52 really. Dang, that looks really good. Yeah, that's, this is a nice looking game, honestly. Uh, still, to this day, still really impressive. That looks, yeah, that looks really, really good. Um, F for your QTEs and stuff, which is fine. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, part two would be really nice to play on PC. Uh, just from a graphical standpoint. Gameplay standpoint, it's quite miserable from what I hear, but apparently it's still really good to some people. Uh, it's it's very a decisive or divisive game overall. Um, I like that things are in engine. Graphically, yeah, I'm I'm relatively impressed with this. Oh, well, that's weird. Please wait. I got a load screen there. That was weird. I wasn't expecting that. All right, this is a sad moment coming up here again if you play this game you know what's coming if you haven't played this game why well, watch this video <laughs> i gotta keep it down by the way my daughter is sleeping um yeah it looks look good oh i got bit all right let's not die again i'm just gonna go up here so i don't get caught again just don't look behind you volumetric effects are super nice this is one of those things I would want to try on um, GeForce Now, just to see how it performs. I'm going to go ahead and skip the cinematic because it's really sad. Immediately, we're just getting a noticeable improvement in that frame rate. Immediately, we're getting a noticeable improvement. Uh, and I've alt-tabbed, and I can still... It's working just fine. Yeah, it's running pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm not getting 60, and this is definitely an intensive game. And I'm also recording at the same time, so... I will probably use a capture card for all the rest of the stuff that you're going to see, and that'll be done at 1080p. That is The Last of Us Part 1 on PC. In Part 2, we're going to take a deep dive into the settings. We're going to test low, medium, high, ultra, DLSS, FSR, any other upscaling technology. We're going to just see just how it performs overall with the full shaders compiled with the latest drivers and just take a look at how it runs overall. What I want to know is your thoughts on this PC port, your thoughts on The Last of Us if you're excited to play this, and whether or not you'll be picking up part two if they release it on PC or if it stays like Bloodborne as a Sony exclusive. I'm excited to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video for the YouTube algorithm and take a look at my other videos that are similar to this one. I had an entire series where I tested laptops out simply called Can It Run? My name is Joel and I'll see you in the next one and happy gaming.